Good Shepherd and Urban Games recently announced that Transport Fever 2 is on the way. Uh, targeted for quarter four of 2019. And oh my God, it looks incredible. Like beyond incredible. They've taken, they've taken one of the best games that I've ever played and they've just taken it to a completely new level and we're gonna take a close look at it right after this quick message. This video is brought to you by me and my official game store's June giveaway. Buy any game or DLC from my store, including the big discount daily deals, and you could be one of three lucky winners who'll receive a digital Steam gift card worth $50. Oh yeah. And there are going to be some great games coming up on the daily deals throughout the rest of June. So remember to check back regularly and see what's on offer. Entries close on June 30th, 2019. Terms and conditions apply. Okay, so epic game requires some epic music. Have a look at this while I run through some of the features that are in this game. Look at those birds flying across there. Oh my god. Uh, sandbox mode. Three campaigns across three continents with over 20 hours of playing time. The, the incredible map editing that they've put in the game, which we'll talk about more when we, when we look at it. Uh, over 200 vehicles, trains, buses, streetcars, trucks, aircraft, ships, modular train stations. Look at this. Oh, we'll look more at that. Uh, what else? Air, air, editable, paintable terrain. Wonderful. Uh, what else? More than 10 economic chains with associated factories and goods, cities with countless residential, commercial, industrial buildings, and we'll take a look at some of those. They look awesome. Uh, detailed game, work, uh, game world with physics-based lighting, individually simulated land animals, birds, and fish. Oh my God. Over 50 challenging achievements in free play mode and extensive modding support via the Steam Workshop, and we know that this game is well supported by the modders. Oh man, you excited? I am. Let's take a closer look. And we're going to start with the world editing. And just look at that scene there. Just look at that tropical beach. Oh my God. I mean, it is crazy beautiful, this game. I mean, my, my gameplay tends to be a lot about the aesthetics of making things look really, really cool. I mean, in my current EPEC playthrough, uh, some of the things that I've been able to craft, some of the, like, the beautiful valleys and stuff like that, they really look good. I mean, there's no getting away from it. This stuff in Transport Fever 1 looks good. You can create really nice train stations. You can create, you know, fantastic airports and great scenery. All of that kind of stuff. But I think Transport Fever 2 is going to make this look really, really average. Look, just look at some of the scenery in, in Transport Fever 2. Ever wanted to build the Grand Canyon? My God, now you can. Just look at that. It's gorgeous. And uh, beautiful beaches. And th remember, this is in-game footage. This is not some pre-rendered, tarted-up cutscene. This is what you're actually going to get in the game. And the terrain tools that they're putting in the new game are just... Uh, seriously, I, I can't think of another word than epic. Maybe awesome. Maybe cool beans. This is a demonstration of the map creation tools and the new map creation tools. Oh my God, I mean, compared to what we have in Transport Fever, Transport Fever 2, you can create like islands, you can create, you can uh, decide how much water you want on the map, like so accurately, uh, the, the type of terrain, the type of texture of the map, the, the, the mountains, where they are, how they hang together. I mean, look, just look at that. And you, can pre and you can see what you're going to get before you create it. I love that. And being able to create, like, tailor the rivers and whatever. You can even tailor the road connections, which is what they're doing here. So, like, if you want a road connection between two towns that, that aren't linked by a pre-generated map, then you just link them up and, boom, away you go. And then once you get in, oh, no more being stuck with narrow rivers. You want to... You wanna, Make a river wider. You want to change the course of a river. Oh, you can just do it. And the terrain tools look just beautiful to use. Now, bear in mind, this isn't even a finished version of the game. And the, the UI that you see in this footage is, um, is just a, a development version of the UI. Hopefully, it's going to be much nicer. Paint tools. Terrain paint tools. Now, before, we've had to rely on mods for uh, terrain painting tools. 
But these, oh yeah, oh yeah, I am going to have a field day with this stuff. And it seems the developers have really been listening to the community and, and seeing how the community play the game, right? Okay, some people play it as, a, as just a transport tycoon game, but so many of us play it as an aesthetic game, as a sandbox. And what they've done is made all these really useful utilities to allow you to do things, undo things really easily, and then redo it. I, I, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. You can even add and remove cities from the map, both in the pre-generation and once you get into, into the game. It, this is just going... Oh, I'm probably going to have an aneurysm when I get my hands on it. Just like, ah, there's so many things I want to do. All the beautiful things that I want to create. It's, um, yeah, it's a hell of a prospect. Just look at this. It's like, oh, I don't want this city anymore. One click, boom, it's gone. <laughs> How cool is that? It's like, or, or like, I want us to have a city here. Let's just, boom, I'll just pop in a new city. Oh, man, this is so good. And, uh, and they've got some other little treats in store. Look at this. Now, this is the kind of thing that I want to create. Look how beautiful that looks. But, of course, the one thing missing right now from the game is the ability to add some animals. But they're not just adding animals like bears, fish, birds, you name it, flying and swimming and crawling all over the place. Now, I tell you what, let's, uh, let's look at some of the infrastructure stuff because this is very, very cool. You know, I just said that as if the stuff that we have seen already wasn't cool. It was cool. What's cooler than bears? Bears wandering through the woods. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, the, um, the infrastructure stuff, there are some very, very seriously cool things. And this is probably the thing that I am most excited about. Modular buildings. Modular train stations. So here, this is a passenger station. Uh, you can put down a, um, a pre-generated, blueprinted uh, train station. And then if you want to expand it, you can expand it. You can add extra platforms. You can add uh, covered platforms, uncovered platforms. And then if you decide, oh, you know what, now I want to add some cargo then you can just add a cargo platform, throw in some tracks. There's different buildings that you can add onto it. You can make it a through station. You can make it a terminal station. So you, no, no longer do you have to like switch train stations and go, oh, I, I wanted a terminus here, or oh, I wanted a through station, or oh, I, I want a cargo station here, what am I gonna do? So yeah, this, um, just, just looking at this makes me drool, I just, I can't wait to play around with those modules. And can you imagine what the modders are going to do with modular buildings? Oh my God, the stuff that they're going to create? Unbelievable. And then we come on to traffic. Now, apparently, traffic is going to play a much bigger role in, uh, in the new game. Apparently, people are going to be using their cars a bit more. So uh, to handle the traffic, they're putting in traffic lights. Oh, hell yeah. And these are pretty clever traffic lights because you can set them up for, um, to work with bus lanes, for example, so that your buses will get priority at traffic lights. I really think with these new features they're putting in the, in the game that they're really going to give City Skylines a run for their money as, uh, as top city builder. And look at this roundabout. Oh, my God. Oh. How long have we wanted like proper working roundabouts? And of course, roundabouts use one-way one -way streets and one-way streets are in the game. Oh, and then, of course, as soon as you've got one-way streets, then some very, very, very cool things become possible. And you've got to take a look at this because <laughs> this is a working version of something that I built in my Apex series. Which I, and now look, um, I, I think there's a little bit of similarity there. I don't know whether they got the inspiration. I know they do watch my bit, so maybe they got the inspiration from that. But that is just beautiful. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That is a, a first quick look at Transport Fever 2. If they, um, if they do any more uh, dev, dev videos, dev blogs, then, uh, then I, will, you know, I will cover them. And man, like, stay tuned. Transport Fever, quarter four. This year, it can't come soon enough. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.